welcome back. So, quick taste test. Christmas one. Bet you didn't guess. Got her hat on. No, I've got my, my jump now. <laughs> you could do with that on there. Flame hung. You dye it. A different colour again. Mutt's down here waiting. Chairs come out. Camera's out. He knows we're eating something. <laughs> I want some. Right, drink wise. I'll finish this one. I was going to show you this, but it was so nice, it's gone. Mmm. Siren, broken one? dream. Right. No. Tell them what you got, because mm -hmm. I've got to get something. I have uh, rhubarb gin with apple and mango. I don't even think it's fresh juice. I think it's that concentrated flavoured stuff. But it's not bad. No ice, obviously. Santa wears glasses. If he wants to read anything. <laughs> right, this one is Broken Dream. It says breakfast stout. Who's going to have stout for breakfast? Uh -huh. Now it says an indulgence of coffee, chocolate, and speciality malts. Right, 6.5%. Do you know what? I love it. <laughs> oh, it does taste. Even you said it tasted of it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's got a slightly chocolatey taste and a bitterness, which I assume is the coffee aftertaste. I could get addicted to that. That is really, really nice. It's really dark as well, anyway, it's a stout. So, Good but you only bought one then. Mm, and that, yeah. that, and that's gone. So, while we're doing this taste test, cheers. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. That's nice as well. That one is. That one was. Who's the brewery from that? Is it Broken Dreams the Brewery? Siren, Siren Craft. Craft Brewery. So it's the actual beer is Broken Dreams and it's by Siren, I see. I don't know. Never seen it before, but. These are all from Morrison's. Guess where we went shopping today? Uh, this one. Dartmoor Brewery. Dragon's Breath. Mm. And that one says. Flavoured with black treacle. That's why it's a bit sweet. Dragon's Breath, the uni, winter warmer. Blah, 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 blah. Full bodied with a delicious aftertaste of Morello cherries. It's not strong on the cherry, but there is something in the background, you can tell. And it's nice again. And it's for a 4.4%. I'm getting into stouts now. I'm starting to drink these beers more than IPAs. That's because the other ones um, have gone up. I do like it. Oh, we did have an IPA though. Well, I don't know where it's gone. Which the red one? one. Mm. Yeah, oh, that was nice. I don't know what nice. it's called. It was Raspberry Sour by Brewdog. And it's a Raspberry Sour IPA. Oh, that was ooh. nice. Sour. That, mm. my mama, she tried that, would be. Yeah. You know what she's like, yeah, if it's stronger than milk, then you get the megrums. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but yeah, I'm getting into my stouts and darker ales at the minute. So what we're we doing? Well, if you've read the, in, the title, you know. So enough waffling on that. We're doing them. Mm. So, was that my stomach again? I think it was uh, the dogs. Oh, it's dinner oh, time. Dinner was, yes. Nine, nine you get in. Chocolate orange mince pies. Orange mince meat with chocolate and hazelnut topping in butter and rich chocolate pastry. Hence, mince pies, Christmas. Ding, 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 ding. Clue. <laughs> so we'll try them. There's going to be this week. One, two, three, four, five reviews. All from Morrison's. Guess where we went shopping again today. But there's only... This one is actually... No, one, two, three of them are Morrison's own make. So we'll see what they're like. I see you, dude. You're the Vicky. Good boy. Tell you what, I can get the Christmas presents easier than this. Well, he did earlier. <laughs> oh, you should have seen him. Don't wrap presents when he's about... Not on the floor, if you've got any sense, anyway. Press it down on the paper. Zeus turns up. I oh, ain't that paper. Yeah, he chashed it. Oh, was it? He ran off with a present and ripped the label off it. Thankfully, he didn't rip the present. Tell him off. 
spoiled brat syndrome says right i'm not having the paper i'm going to run off with the slippers that you're going to try and wrap up uh, right so little dink and him in the thighs i like pies dad he likes any fire look them little ones baby pies what's the gold stuff Ooh, i don't Three. know smells like chocolatey orange no it doesn't say it should taste the smell of chocolate orange not suitable for home freezing these ain't going to be frozen, are they? No. Let's face it. Even if you don't like them, I know I will. Because I, I do. I'm not a great lover of mince pies, but at Christmas, it's like Christmas syndrome kicks in, and I like mince pies. I'm hoping Christmas. it's not going to be. I so, know it's a mince pie, thought, but you know yeah, what I mean. I'm glad you got a knife. I was just going to say, we really need to cut one so you can see in the middle. I was prepared. Chocolate on the top's a bit. It's like fondant. Oh! oh I don't see any mince meat. That's looking good. There is mince meat in it, but it's like chocolate fondant on top. Look at that. Oh, it's really, it's like velvet inside. They do look nice. It smells good. The mince meat's right at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. You've got a thick fondant chocolate and then a, a layer of mince meat at the bottom. Mm, but it's not your average mince meat. I'm going to scoop that bit out and see if I can taste, you know, the bit that I don't like in minced meat. Mum. If you don't like minced pies, get these anyway. Because mm. I can't taste minced meat. No. I don't like minced pies, that's why I was dubious. They're not, they're not too sickly either. No. Nice. The chocolate's there, the orange is not strong. It's like that. What did we try? Chocolate orange, uh, popcorn. No. Mm. Well, popcorn. I said it was a tangerine. That was the Thornton's chocolate. No, it was the Viennese biscuits. Mm. Mr. Kipling's, not Rudyard. Mm. That chocolate well. orange, uh, Wells, it's the same sort of orange as that. It's not strong and. Um, bitter or sour it's like a tangerine orange now they're not sickly but they are very rich yeah. so so he shoves the half one in one mm. once <laughs> to be honest when i read that it says nine portions and i looked at the size and thought i can eat two of them but they are they're really really rich, rich. Mm. but one would be enough they are nice the something sweet Tell you if you have left, <laughs> beg your pardon. I wouldn't know. Leftover turkey, you have a curry with it. You should do anyway if you've got any sense. Have a really hot curry, and then after you've had a really hot curry, you should start getting a craving for something sweet. Yeah. Because you normally do that, it fills the slot. Yeah. It really but, would. Yeah. Chocolate, orange, sweet. And it's, it's it right, I'm, what I'm going to do, this is going to trash this one, but I'll show you how gooey it is. Look at that. That's how soft they are. Really gooey. And it's like, it's more like a fondant, chocolate orange fondant. But I'm not seeing any mincemeat. It's it in there. Mince it's in right mincemeat. It's the bottom, bottom layer, isn't the, it? Yeah, and it's only very thin. And I didn't come across any orange peel, because that's the bit that I don't like. But it's not... It don't have that mincemeat taste. No. So even if you don't like mincemeat, try these because I think you'll like them. You have got, obviously, you've got to like chocolate. Oh, yeah. And you've got to like orange because it's there. It's not really strong on the orange. I'm tasting more chocolate. Mm. Like a chocolate fondant. It is very well, creamy as well. It is. It's a Christmas thing, so let's face it, what do you do at Christmas? You overindulge. Yeah. You buy really sweet stuff and... Do you know what I'd be nice with? Cream. Beer. Instead of beer, cheers. I'm going to let you decide what would you think would be the best drink to sit down at night, chilling, watching something on TV and eating these. 
Uh, is the aim to get pissed or just to enjoy it? No, to get what? <laughs> Drunk, sorry. To get over intoxicated. <laughs> yes, or to just enjoy. To enjoy. If it's to enjoy, I'd probably have a Bailey's with it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh, chocolate Bailey's. Ah, oh, it might be too much then. No, you can never go too much on or chocolate. Or Bailey's coffee would be nice with it. Yeah, no, Bailey's, nice. Bailey's instead of milk. Creamy alcoholic drink. And one of these, when you're chilling late in the evening, when you ain't got room for anything because you've stuffed yourself with Christmas, and you think, I fancy something, but I ain't got room. One of these. Just, just finish you off. Mm. <laughs> Real strong, sweet, chocolatey orange fix and a drink. I can't slate them. In fact, oh, the paste yeah. is really nice. I can't mm. say. The it's very only short. thing I can say, and it's nitpicking, yeah. that I would prefer slightly more is I would prefer a slightly stronger orange taste in there as well. Because the orange is really subtle, to me anyway. Well, I could taste it, but you don't know if it's because I've got a fruity drink. Mm. Sometimes you... It but that's not a fault, it's just nitpicking because I've got to find something. How happens. sweet and creamy and overindulgent they are, I'm happy. They're 113 calories each. That ain't bad, is it? Uh -huh. He says, Go on, Right, come on, we're going for it. One each. No, I'll, I'll have what I've got left. No, here. you will not. You will have a full one. one, missus. I don't want a full one. Turn on that bit. Oh, Zeus, did you enjoy oh, that? Get the chocolate as well. All right. In one. Oh, we stick. It's like the Viennese world test. Three, two, one. Go. Go on. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't do it. Go on. And you can go first. I don't want to eat your Get in. I want to eat. Go on. I could Put it eat. in. Let go and chew. I ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Are you doing? <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm. I take it back. Those two bits of orange peel in that one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Right. That is worse than eating a full bean as well. It it's sticks to everywhere. But like you've just said, when I put a full one in my mouth, I can taste orange. Yes. When I tried bites of it, cut half off, I couldn't eat, all I could taste, not eat, all I could taste was the chocolate, the pastry, and it was very, very subtle orange. I've just stuck that in my chops, a full one, and now I can taste chocolate orange, and it's, mm. the orange is just enough now. I forgot it's, there was gin in that drink. <laughs> you just ate that? <laughs> yeah. Tasted good. <laughs> so use the alcohol. Okay. I don't do it very often. When I do, I enjoy. Mm. That's a nice compliment to this though, that beer. Um, right. I recommend them. They're really nice. And they are different. And they're not strong. But when you bit into the orange peel that are in there, it's not bitter or anything, is it? No. It's it's nice. Um, it's not even the taste of the orange peel that I don't like. It's the texture. You know, because it's a bit harder than what everything else that you're eating. Look at that. It is like chocolate fondant. Mm. And, you know. No, I don't anymore. And. Podged. The mince meat's there. You can see the orange there, look. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Is that going yeah, mind? it's there. Um. I think it's a case of, because there's a lot more chocolatey fondant stuff than the orange, because only a thin layer of mincemeat, the more you eat, the more orange you're going to get coming through. Yeah. So, I'll take that back. I can't even pick that as a, a nitpicking fault, because when you stick a full one in your chops, you get the orange as well. So. He's <laughs> at the biscuit, but he don't want it. He wants the pie. They are nice. I'm quite happily sit there. My sugar levels wouldn't thank me, but it would be nice sitting there and eat all nine of them. Oh my God, no. No, I think they're too... They're lovely, but one, one and a half is enough. Right, price-wise, what were they? 
Oh, I don't know. Would you like me to go and get the piece of paper? I don't know where it is. It's in the front room. Hang on a sec. Found the receipt. Yay! One pound eighty-five. They are for nine. Now, if I don't like something, I'll say. That's why I tried to nitpick with it and find a fault. Because you're not buying me off by saying review that and saying oh because they gave it me I've got to get a good review. Well they didn't give it as we bought them. One eighty five. So nine in the pack. Uh, I had one and a half, so that's really done your sugars good. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's four left. They're nice. And we've just been saying, well, well I don't know which muppet. Well, I was looking for the receipt to see how much they were. The one eighty-five from Morrison's. They'd be really nice if you get some of that real thick Bailey's. It's not whipped cream. It's like a thick. Yeah, it's like cream. extra thick, yeah. Dollop of that on top of them. Oh. Yeah, it would be good then. That's With the Chianti. <laughs> Clarice. Ew. Mmm. You could have that instead of Christmas pudding. Yeah, you could. Well, I don't like Christmas pudding anyway. No, I don't. It's disgusting stuff. Um, don't start slating me off on Facebook and that. I just don't like it. It's too... Christmas pudding is like, oh, I don't know what you can compare it to. It's just chewing on raw bits of pith. Pith was a th, I said. Orange it's and just... sultanas, currants. I hate both of them anyway. Dead spiders with no legs. And gritty bit in the middle. So dead spiders with no legs, it's at a pebble. <laughs> All right, let's stop there um, then. Some people like Christmas pudding. Oh, I hate the stuff. I don't mind the brandy, I'll just have the juice off the bottom then. Yeah. But no, but they're nice. Anyway, going back to them. Recommended. Go and get them. 185 from Morrison's. And they're different. And if I say I've got mince pies, by the time she's finished pulling me grums and a show of them, she'll think, oh, they're all right. Yeah. My stomach's really grumbling. Let's go then. I'm waiting for someone to cook me dinner. I'm not cooking, am I? Well, no, because I want to eat it. I'm hungry. Um, so, Zeus. So, that's it. Recommended. Quick. Really, really, really quick. That wasn't quite so quick. Review on chocolate orange mince pies. Morrison's. The best range. If you go looking for them, these weren't actually with the mince pies. They were where the breads were, weren't they? The cobs. Yeah. So, check that area if you can't see them. They are vegetarian friendly, if we haven't already said. No, they're not. Are they? Yes, yeah, there's it on the side. So get in, vegetarian friendly. Not vegan, vegetarian. There's a difference. That's well, just a quick dig at somebody who's left a comment on Facebook about something. Um, yeah, that's it. We're not going into ingredients because that's it. And I'll be here for another half an hour reading them out. Yeah, There's a lot. There. Um, but yeah, job done. Thumbs up review. Yep. Definite. Nice. A bit rich, a bit sweet, but not overly that you eat one and think, oh, I can't eat any more, that's too sickly. No, They're good. nice. Try so get them see. and try them. Job done. What's it on? Cheers. I <laughs> Shut your guts. <laughs> see you later.